Hello there everybody, my name is PB or James, whatever you want to call me and today we're inside tabs because I just real uh, I did well I didn't just realize I've been told by several people that the unit beta creator update has come out and I thought I would just you know show you guys through the basic steps of it you know if you haven't already played it before if you haven't seen tabs before then um I thought I would just walk you through it so Basically what you have to do is you have to download tabs from your Steam already, I, I can't remember how much it is, it's probably about 15 quid or something. Um, and it should already be updated for you once you download it I believe, but there'll be this little thing down here called the custom content, so if you go ahead and click on that. So this is all the stuff that I've been messing around about with for the last couple of days, I've been making random units and random stuff so I'll show them later on in the video. But I want to show you guys how to basically make your own units so far in tabs. Um, so you come to the make a new unit thing down at the bottom here and you're basically given this basic template to start with so you have a base here um, of a wobbler so that's normally a basic tab play you can go for a halfling you can go for a stiffy one so that's more of the spooky uh, spooky kind of style uh, you can change the actual um, the, the, the voice of your of your character so say if you wanted it to be a knight you can have it as a knight you can have it as a squire um, you can sound like somebody who operates a cannon, why not? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll select a balloon archer, why not? I don't even know. You can change the pitch, so you can lower it, you can uh, uh, increase it. Um, you can change it to a, a range type, so I believe that's basically saying like they'll, they'll stay away from the action, they won't dive straight in like most of the other characters. Um, and you can get them to target different people, which is quite cool actually, because you can actually get them just to target your own team which can can set up for quite um quite odd battles and quite odd scenarios i think you can also go across to weapons here and you've got such a long list of weapons now it's crazy so you have all of these so these are all the basic weapons that you would find within tabs normally and then you come across some uh like in misc which are just really random stuff so you can have like a baseball bat you can have a butcher's knife you can have a fish you can you can have you can have all sorts you can have all sorts of stuff and then you can also have the stuff from tab g so that's the uh uh, what's it? Totally accurate battlegrounds or battlefields or whatever it's called. I've never played that game, um, but if you if you want to see me play that, then ask. <laughs> but so basically, you now have the ability to like they've included guns basically, so you can now shoot things. You've got crowbars, you've got ballistic shields, you've got all of that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just I just want to build up a random character for you just to just to show you how to do it. So uh, I don't know. Let's let's give our little little guy here. Let's give him. Uh, what do we give him? I don't, I don't know. What? what I, I don't even know. I don't. Even, I should have come into this way more prepared than I am. Um, uh, we'll we'll give him we'll give him a, a a lightning bow. Why not? Look, that looks pretty sick. A lightning bow. That's like, come on, that's pretty awesome. Um, you can also have it two-handed, so they can put both hands on it. Um, or you could have uh one-handed and then have another weapon in your other hand. So say if I wanted a water jug, boom, I've now got myself a lovely water jug down there. That looks absolutely delicious sip from that that is beautiful um, so you can also add some clothes to this so to this it's a thing I, well technically it, there's no gender for this thing so yeah I can call it this um, so you can add a bunch of different outfits so it ranges from ancient to farmer all the way down so they've now added a world war aspect to it which is quite cool I thought that was quite a, a, a cool thing that they've added to it but once again you've got all the stuff from tab G as well so you can be a banana why not will be a banana <laughs> don't know um, and then you can also add uh, different stuff to your arms as well, so you can add all of this random stuff. So there's loads of different things that you can add. You can customize loads of different things. So you got legs, feet, arms, torso, head. You can put you can put on a nice hat if you want to put on a nice hat. You know why why why, why not? We'll we'll, we'll 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 put on a nice hat, even though we're in a banana costume. We'll put on a we'll put on a pineapple. Why not? Pineapple within a banana doesn't get much better, people. I mean, sometimes I want both. Sometimes I want a pineapple. Sometimes I want a banana. Sometimes I want them at the same time. But you can also alter the stats of your character, which makes sense, otherwise it wouldn't really be very custom. So you can change the size of your character, you can make them much bigger than they ought to be really. You can I don't know how far this actually goes, but you can make them pretty big. Yeah, I don't why is he flying? He's just disappeared for some reason. I think his weights I think they start floating when the weight is too low. So you can alter the, the weight of the character. So say if they have a heavier weapon or a lighter weapon, you can alter the weight in order to counteract that. Um, hit points, so basically how many hit points they can do before they die so say if we brought up the 500 it'd take a much longer for them to die um, attack speed so they're quicker quicker or slower at attacking quicker or slower at movement uh, damage they can do twice as much damage however much more damage you can literally do infinite amount of stuff with it if I wanted to make the hit points you know 
billions, there you go, you can do that. You can just do whatever the hell you want with this. It's totally up to you however you want to make it. So we've got our banana guy down in here. Beautiful, beautiful. You can obviously change the colour as well just to test that out. And you can, as you see down here, you can test out your unit as well. So, so yeah, well, so if we click on that, it basically gives you a, a, a scenario in which you can test things out, shoot people down. You've got a watering jug. I don't, I don't really... Has he got what? Yeah, we've died. Um, that's okay. <laughs> um, so if we come back out of that, you click tab to come back out of that. I don't know where the hell my unit's gone. Um, there he is. Hello, mate. Um, oh, I, I completely missed it for the uh, weapons, but you can add special abilities as well. So just like for some of the other characters that you find normally in the game, or some different stuff as well. You can add like Thor's lightning, so they can strike lightning. So if we test the unit again, you'll see that they just strike a bit of lightning. Why not? Why not? A banana with a bit of lightning. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Just a bit of fun. I feel like my game just completely shut down there I don't know what that was it just completely froze um, but then so you got your stats you got everything that you want to do you can you can alter the clothes alter the weapons as much as you want you can even change the colors of these so you can say if you click on that again you can go into stats uh, change the projectile if you want to so you could even have them fire say like I don't even know Zeus's bolts you could do that and then look at that they can actually fire actual lightning that's kind of cool I think that's pretty decent. You can change the colour. I don't think you can for the lightning bow, but you can change colour, say, maybe for the jug. Yeah, there you go. So you can change the colour if you want to. I'm just basically going through everything that is on these menus so you guys know what to do. You probably already do because I'm a normal person who's just explaining stuff overcomplicated because I'm British. But there you go. That's how it is. And then if you want to be able to save your unit, um, you can you can give it a name if you want to. So we'll give him... Uh, a, what, what name should we give our guy here? Um... Uh, um very awesome guy. Wow, what an, what an, what I'm inventive. I'm, I'm just great, aren't I? Uh, so you've got to take a photo of them here. So if you click on that icon thing, you take a photo. Boom, you've got the nice little photo up in there. Um, you can do a manual uh, manual unit cost or you can do an auto one. So auto, it's just done it for 990. I'll, I'll just do that. Um, you can uh, do a description down below if you want to do a description. So... Uh, Hi, why not? That's our description. You, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, um, but then you just save your unit and then boom, you've got yourself your unit down in there. So obviously I've made quite a few of these. These will come up maybe in future videos if you want me to do more. So if you want me to do more of this tab unit creator update thing, um, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you want to. I mean, it's totally up to you. But yeah, anyways, um, so there we go. Um, and to actually get your character within the game, so you want to know how to actually play with your character, um, if you go across to the faction, so I've already got a factions created, but I'll create a new one just so you guys know. So you can make a new faction. Um, so you can create a faction name. So we'll, do, we'll just do hi, why not? I'm very inventive. Uh, you can change the color, so you can do whatever color you want. You can change the banner. Uh, we'll go with the banjo, why not? And then you can add any one of your, of your units that you want to add. So we've got a very awesome guy pop them up in there boom love to see that and there you go you've got one little guy up in there for your for your squad so then if you go back out into your menu and then go into sandbox um, say if you went on to legacy legacy maps normally quite a straightforward one to, to show this so as you can see you've got all your factions along here if you go across to the more faction bit you can add your faction so if you drag this up and across place that right up in there and there you go you've got your you've got your you've got your little faction down there and then you've got your own little unit within the game there you go look at that so if we just splay a couple of these out let's see how this battle would commence um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing there we go um, and let's see how this one goes why not let's put this one into slow motion as we come on down um, actually we won't because it will take way too long oh my goodness I was not expecting well I should have expected that because it was lightning but there you go guys, that's basically how you set up everything for your unit creator thing. Um, <laughs> that was a very straightforward and safe battle between these bananas. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Unlucky mate. <laughs> what even is life at this point? But yeah, that is based, That is the basic outlines of the unit creator thing. I know a bunch of different YouTubers have already done this. Um, my good friend Plastic Scott's already done this. I've basically stolen his video, um, <laughs> sorry, but this is just me basically summarizing what I'm going to do with this if you guys want to see more of this. So yeah, if you want to see more, leave a comment, subscribe, like, do whatever the hell you want. Um, and I, I will see you all in another video, hopefully we can see some really random battles of this. If, give me some ideas from, for some units to use, but 
I will catch you on another video. I don't even know what to make of this game. See you guys later.